Alrighty, what is going on guys? My name is Fantasy Hawkeye and today I am not actually going to play a game for you guys. What I'm going to do is I got a comment on the last video, on, excuse me, on one of my videos. It was a recent subscriber that wanted me to go through the XML code for you guys essentially and how to mod this game. Now, these are files that I did not edit everything in them. Like the teams here, I did edit it, but I but this is like a backup file as well that I just never edited all of it yet. And plus some of the stuff got kind of bugged out in it though, but it does work. No doubt about that at all. So anyway, I'm based this video is all going to be about how to mod the game. And essentially, you use XML code. And what I'm going to do, and this is Notepad++. The link to that app is down in the description below for you guys. It is an absolutely fantastic piece of software. I use it all the time for everything code-wise. You can do all sorts of code on this software. And I'll show you here in just a minute. So you can do XML code, which is what we're going to be going over today. We're going to be going, I mean, they can do Java. It can do a little bit of INI. It can do HTML. It can do some GUI work. It can do eScript, C, C Sharp, C++. It can do a lot of different languages. But this is XML, and I'm just going to concentrate on that today. I'm hoping to make this video a little bit shorter today, actually, for you guys. Because I do actually need to go do something. Unfortunately, um, I got hacked earlier today. Uh, my uh, PlayStation did. So I am currently trying to get all of that fixed up. I got everything back. Nothing changed. We're okay. But unfortunately, I've had a really, really rough day so far today and i i'm a little paranoid i'll be honest with you this is not how i wanted to spend my day i um i'm just really sad right now honestly about this whole thing but luckily i got it back so anyway i'm gonna start going through some of the code for you guys so this is what xml code is so you see i'm gonna take this over here to the left so you see these tags here so league formats XML, so this is your XML file, essentially what version of XML you use and all that. League format, oh shoot, you know what? I'm sorry, before I do this, let me show you guys real quick where you keep the files at. So, actually let me do it this way. So, if you see the directory right here, so you go into Steam, if you got it through Steam, then you go into Steam Apps, then you go into Common, which is like downloaded essentially to your computer. Then you go to Draft Day Sports College Football 2020. And then you get this. Now, a lot of these DLL files, I am not 100% certain what these are at all. I have not messed with these, and I highly recommend that you don't either. Especially because I don't know what they are. And... You go, so anyway, I go into the data folder here, and there's all sorts of cool stuff in here. And today, as you see up here, we're, up here, we got bowls, teams, weather, penalties, and injuries. These were the main ones that I did a little bit of work on. I didn't do a ton, though. I've done some tweaking, and I've undid some other tweakings, and so on and so forth. But this is just the way that you find the code, essentially, for your version of the game. And you've got, over here on the right, you've got types of files here. Make sure that the file that you are editing is an XML and not a text file. Because a lot of the text files have, like, general last names in the game, have general first names. And, he, and I don't know if you necessarily want to mess with all that. You can absolutely add names. I don't, I don't think the game would have necessarily a problem with you doing that for, like, new classes in your series. But... When it comes to making this game, I wouldn't delete any names because there are a lot of duplicates in here. And I just wouldn't touch it at all, honestly. Anyway, you got weather, you got themes. And themes is essentially like your background here. 
you can edit your entire background in this game, how it's set up. I haven't messed with this at all, though, but I thought about it, believe it or not. I thought about it. Just don't change any general names of anything. And I'll tell you what that is here going forward here in a little bit. But last names, I wouldn't touch that at all. I wouldn't touch news articles at all here. Because this code here is essentially uh, percentages here of what you've got exactly here. I mean, you've got, like, injury, offensive player. I mean, I wouldn't really touch a lot of this stuff here, generally speaking. This is just all game stuff. I don't mess with that. What I did was, like I said earlier, was bowls, teams, weather, penalties, and injuries. Alrighty, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and show all of you the code. Now, we're going to start off here with teams and how you read XML code. So essentially speaking, you have your league formats up here. Now, if you've ever coded before, it's very similar to coding like XML or, or like coding HTML, for instance, or Java or any of those. You have brackets and you have particular sections of stuff. And over here on the right hand side, you can see conferences. And your conference IDs here on that level. Now, you only look at the level that is next. Because if conferences is right here, conference, then divisions and division are within this conference bracket. And as you can see, conference ties with this right here. As you watch the red line here over here on the left hand side of the screen, if that makes sense at all. Next thing we're going to go to, so conference ID, that is the number of your conference. And I'm going to go through that with you here right now, actually. So when you look at this here, Conference 1, I have not done a ton of work on this. I'm still trying to match up a lot of it here. But, like, don't change bowl name. Don't change, right? basically anything that you want to change in XML code. Make sure that it is purple. Anything that is purple, change. And this is the default settings that I use here for XML in terms of their color system change anything that is purple all right you do not want to change anything else at all your value names here are in red and your tags that tie everything together is like your team here or your teams etc now the reason why this one is open is because this is a full line of code here and it ends down here when you see the slash and the little thing down here that means that it is ended all right, so we look at ID here. So ID of the team is one. Number one is Florida State. Now, obviously, they're the Indians right now in this because this is kind of a backup file that I have going right now. I, these are, for the most part, backup files that I have um, that I'm showing you guys because I want you to see what the code actually is. I don't want you to see at all, like, what the code is now in my game just what it was now. I think it'll be easier for you guys to understand that a little bit better. Now, when you update something here, make sure you don't get rid of your quotation marks here. So say this is Indians, for example. If I change this to, I'm actually going to copy this real quick. So if I change this to Seminoles, now I'm not actually going to do it. But every time you make a name change, you want to save it. And the game automatically reads that code. Now, you're going to want to reload your file, but the game automatically reads it right after you save. So I suggest doing a lot of saving when you edit all of this code, if that makes sense at all. So I'm just going to do a couple of these and call it good. I did Control-Z to undo if you make any changes. So ID number two... So Mascot is the nickname for the team. So that's like the Seminoles for Florida State. Or if you scroll down here for TCU. Here, this is technically TCU. Mascot. Um, Horn Frogs. Abbreviations for teams are like what you see like on ESPNs and CBS essentially is what that is. Now we're going to go and do a little bit of more of interesting code here. So this is your tempo rating here. 
This tells you how fast their offense is and their play style here. What do they do? What is they what do they focus on? Prestige rating, the higher your prestige, the better your school is. Now, I edited Iowa's to be a little bit higher, like you've seen in the series, because I thought Iowa was a little bit too low. And after I edited it, I thought it was slightly too high, but I went ahead and left it anyway, because, um, I mean, Iowa has such great seasons. I mean, they're not talked about a lot, sure, which would bring it down even further than what I've done. But they always, always, always seem to find a way to win like eight, nine, ten wins a year. I mean, it's absolutely incredible what Barron's is. I'm not going to go into that at all. But anyway, so your logo here. Do not change this value. What this value is, is when you go into your file system here, shoot. One second here. It goes into the images file folder here. And essentially it goes into logos. And these are all of the logos in the game, essentially. I would not mess with any of this code at all. Just because you have all of the logos saved and all, though. If you want to, like, upload your own logo, then all you would have to do is just use something like Pixlr, edit it, and then you could re-upload it through there. And then just change that file name, essentially, in the XML document, if you wanted to at all. And let me see here. So I got that figured out for you. Logo, small logo, same thing there. Um, and then color here. Do not change these values. These are hexadecimal. You can Google that if you want to, but essentially what it is is it's team colors. It's your team colors in game is all that is. So, whoops, my bad. So conference ID of one. So everything within here is conference ID one, which is the ACC and mine ECC in this file. The United Atla Athletic here. This is Cincinnati, Central Florida, East Carolina, Connecticut, South Florida, excuse me, South Florida. You've got Tulane, Tulsa. You've got Western Michigan. You've got Navy, the Navy Shipman, etc. And, and then as you see here, this goes from this line to this line. And then teams for this division are only read from here to here. Do you want to make sure? That everything stays where it is. You don't move anything. Like you don't move like this code. Let's say. Up here. You do not want to do that at all. Because then it can screw up your game. Oops. Hold on a second here. And I'm not even going to save any changes to these files at all. Here, because I'm just showing you guys this. And then um, ID3 is technically the SEC. Now, you can change these if you want. I do think it's perfectly fine changing your conference IDs. I have no problem with that at all. I really don't. Just don't change any logos. Don't change any championship game. Sure. Well, I guess you could. Technically, you could change all this, but I don't recommend it anyway. Basically, the only things that I changed were this. I changed the school value, the mascot value, and the abbreviation values are the only things that I changed in my file. Division name, conference name, conference name, conference abbreviation, and I did not change the logos. And um, if you have any questions about this at all, please let me know down in the comments section below. I know this is very confusing. But anyway, I've pretty much shown you an example of a little bit of everything here. And I'm going to show you everything again here with the SEC. So, conference, you're in the SEC bracket here. The West Division, Alabama, if you needed to... If you needed to, so like if you needed to change Louisiana State here, you can do that. Just change it to LSU, or you can change their abbreviation over here. And then it will tie to this team, if that makes sense, because everything is under that ID of 107, which is what is associated with that team. Do not change team IDs. For the love of God, do not change team IDs, because it will screw up your game, and you will not be happy.
Alrighty, and I think that's pretty much it here for this. And of course, we got conferences, league format, and league formats down here at the bottom, which tidied these up here. So now let's go ahead real quick and look over the bowls. And the bowls essentially, I the only thing that I edited here were the names of the bowls. So bowl game, rank, the lower the number, the better the bowl. I did not change all the ranks. Keep that in mind. I kept a lot of them the same because a lot of them are the same level, in my opinion, of type of bowl. But anyway, Rose Bowl, Cotton, Peach, Fiesta. Then we have Orange. Citrus, Outback, Birmingham, Gator, Alamo. Now, I did not do anything here to the names here at all. I am still working. So, I didn't add every single bowl game. I am still working on the conference standings and conferences here. As you can see, I have some blanks here. No big deal there. Um, I'm still kind of fidgeting with those a little bit. So, don't worry about that at all. But those are the only things you want to change here. Are your types, your names. Are the only things you want to change and this section right here is your playoffs you can change championship and you can change the name i changed the name to this you can do whatever the heck you want to do for your league and everything here for one bowl game is on one row because like i talked about before backslash this this means this one line of code is all of this bowl is just about this game, if that makes sense. So let's move on here to the weather one. And like I said here too, so model name, you do not want to change this. You want to change whatever is in your um, quotes. Change anything that is purple or in quotes. I cannot stress this enough at all. Otherwise, you're going to have bugs in your code. All right, and this lists all the ton of cities in the world. You can change the values. It's like average fall temp for Chicago. You can make it colder or warmer. Winter temp, you can make it colder or warmer. Rainfall chance, colder or warmer. By the way, when you look at rainfall chance and rain chance winter, those are percentages, I believe. I believe it's a percentage. I could be wrong, though, but I, I read it as a percentage. Wind chance, 10% essentially for Chicago is what that is. And then that's the same code for all of these here, essentially. That is the same code. Now let's move on to penalties here. So the things that I changed here, I did change a little bit of like the text in here, like how it was worded just ever so slightly in some of them. You might not notice them, but it's okay. Penalty. Time frame after play. Do not change this after play or before play stuff because it is exactly like it would be in the NFL, like it would be in real college football today. But holding unnecessary roughness, you can change that. So, like, if you wanted unnecessary roughness, like, if you wanted an unnecessary roughness penalty to be like a, um, to be, boy, what was I going to say? Like, we're roughing the passer. You can absolutely put that in if you want to. I have no problems with that at all. You could copy this line of code right here that I'm highlighting. You could copy that, paste it, and then have a separate penalty for roughing the passer. I just don't in my league, but you can if you want to. That is totally up to you. Next thing, illegal use of hands here. I kept that. Pretty much all the penalties I kept. Now, team. Offense or defense. What that essentially means is does the penalty associate with the offense or the defense? I did not mess with that. And the reason why is because when I went in here and did this, essentially what I did was is I just changed a little bit of text here, and that was it. That's really all that I did. I didn't change any yardage. I did change the holding weight to 750 in my league. Um, I thought it was a little bit high, but it seems okay. I'm not going to worry about it too much. And I might change some of these other weights here as we move along in the game. I'm not 100% certain. Let me know if you want to see that, though. Or maybe let me know what you 
done in your league and maybe I'll change it in mine, that'd be fantastic. We can kind of exchange information that way through the comments section. I would be more than willing to take any advice here for any of this. Play type. Please, for the love of God, don't change this at all. If it says pass, leave it. Because, like he's I'm roughing the passer here, like my roughing the passer one here for pass plays only, pass plays only for defensive pass interference. Essentially, what this is, is if you put that on like run and you had a roughing the passer penalty on a run, that's illegal. That doesn't happen in football. That's not realistic. So, that's why you want to keep play type as pass in there. <laughs> <coughs> In there, so you only get that on pass plays. And team, please don't touch team for the love of God. Just don't even do it. Don't even do it. It's better not even to do it. But anyway, that's that file for you. And now injuries. Now this is where it gets really fun. So I say change injuries to whatever you want. You can get rid of them. You can add more. I am perfectly, I think it is perfectly fine in your league to change names of your injuries, like torn anterior cruciate ligament, that is your ACL unit. You can add your torn MCL if you want to. I don't know what that stands for. You're going to have to look that up for yourself, but they have the PCL in here, the poster cruciate ligament. They do have that in the game. And they have broken foot, cold, allergies, fatigue. I mean, look at this code. I mean, it is just so in-depth. Car accident, if there's a family emergency. Now, your minimums and maximums here. You can change these if you want to. Now, I don't recommend it. And the reason I say that is because I think the severe... Is because I think it's based off of a percentage of whether or not, like, you'd be out of the game for, like, a long period of time or not. So, like, 60% could be, like, three-fourths of your season, maybe, at a minimum. Or maybe even less than two-thirds of your season, at a minimum. Or maybe if you see, like, 20, for example, maybe it's, like, a couple-week injury. So, I think some of those here, so, like, when you look at up, like, 20, 10 to 40 here... I think it's based on also, I think it's also based on how many weeks you miss as well. I don't know how the percentages work on that, but I assume like 10 would be one week and 40 would be four. I don't know, though, to be honest with you, what the cat, what the conversion is there. I mean, 10 could mean two. And I don't know that. And maybe I don't know that. If that makes sense at all. So like a migraine, zero. Zero meaning maybe they can come back the next week. Like I said, I don't know what this means. I personally don't know. Like when we had the bruised hip earlier in the year, whatever it was, I think the severity minimum for Kyler Schlott's and injury was zero officially because he was probable for the next week, but I did not play him for um, concerns for the because obviously I'm new to this game. And I just wanted to keep him out for the heck of it that day. But you can change these to whatever the heck you want. I have no problems with it at all. And that pretty much wraps it up here in this video. If you have any questions at all, please, 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 please leave your comments down in the, in the please leave your comments down below for me. I will answer whatever I can for you guys. Just remember two things. Number one. Do not change anything that is blue or red. And number two, change whatever is purple and have fun editing your game. Thank you all for watching this. If you liked it, please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell button for notifications. That way you know when I will post week five against the Ohio State Buckeyes in Columbus, Ohio. Have a great day, and I will see you all next in next week's, in the next, excuse me, not next week, in the next episode of the series. Have a fantastic day, everybody.